Hello everybody, welcome back. We have mentioned so many times already how Star Citizen is going to be a huge living universe with a plethora of opportunities and paths to follow. But we have never actually talked about the careers that will be available for players in Star Citizen and how connected they are with each other. Star Citizen is not going to be just a space game where you get to shoot stuff, but it is going to be, like I have mentioned already, a living universe where players will be able to follow their preferred career and perform their favorite activity. And like with every action having a reaction, these careers are going to be intertwined and they will rely on each other not only for success but also for their existence. So today we are going to take a look at the many different careers that you will be able to follow in the Star Citizen universe, how they connect with each other and how they create opportunities for players with different preferred play style. The cornerstone of every civilization, trading could be described as one of the most important, if not the most important activity for the Star Citizen economy. Trading in general is the action of transferring goods and commodities from one station to another, from one landing zone to another in order to make profit. We could divide trading in Star Citizen into two categories, with cargo hauling being the first, where you just accept contracts that require from you to deliver certain goods, certain amount of commodities to a certain station or landing zone for a fee, and the other being a serious trader, where you go there alone trying to find the best prices and make a huge profit. If you follow that second path, buying low and selling high is always going to be your goal. And there will always be a risk of course of failing and not making enough profit or even having a loss. Your profit and success as a trader in the Star Citizen universe is going to depend firstly on the cargo capacity of your vessel and the cargo capabilities of your ship, but also on your ability to discover opportunities and take advantage of them. Overall, trading in Star Citizen will depend on the inventory of shops and the demand of a certain good, of a certain commodity around the system. And of course, there will be special events that will require certain goods to be delivered at a certain location. Events that could make a small fortune for traders that pay attention. Smuggling now is another form of trading, an alternate form of trading if you like, and it is in general the trading of illegal goods without getting caught. When you are smuggling, you are transferring commodities that are banned from a certain place like narcotics or slaves inside UE territory in order to sell them to a black market and earn great profit. Smuggling is an illegal high risk, high reward form of trading and you will have to be very careful not to get caught by security forces if you want to follow this path, but it is definitely a more exciting and highly profitable form of trading. Another very important activity career for the Star Citizen universe is going to be mining and the good news is first of all that along with trading and smuggling will be available in the game with the 3.0 update. And the second is that this is going to be a very detailed profession that will require from you to make important decisions. In general, mining is going to be the action of extracting ore, minerals and gas from asteroids or the surface of a planet or the moon, refining them and selling them for profit. Mining in Star Citizen is not going to be a boring, repetitive process. You will not just get into your mining vessel, go out there, hit a rock, and return with a ton of rocks and become rich. You will have to decide if you want to work freelancer or join an organization work as an agent. Each one of these decisions will have different results for you. You will have protection if you join an organization, but you will have bigger profit if you go out there alone. You will have to always keep an eye on the commodity marketplace in order to see what sells the best at any given moment. And you again will have to decide if you want to go for a common mineral that will net you a certain profit, but it will not be a good profit, or go for something rarer, search for rare ore, mineral or gas, in order to earn a lot of money with the risk always of failing and returning with an empty cargo hold. The activity of mining is also going to be very interesting. You will have to scan the site in order to determine what kind of minerals exist and proceed to extract them if they meet your expectation and your goals. 
This activity can be very dangerous because of the existence of highly compressed pockets of gas that can be found on a side asteroid that can explode and destroy you and your vessel, but also other forms of dangers that can be found in the unknown. Trading and mining are going to be two very important activities for the star seeds and universe. They are going to be the money makers of the star seeds and economy and will create opportunities not only for traders and miners but also other players that wish to follow a more illegal path like pirates. Pirates will always target traders and miners in order to steal their cargo, in order to steal their vessel and make a profit in that way. The goal of the pirate will never be to kill its victim and destroy its vessel, but to disable, board and rob them. In that way they can make a profit and continue living following their favorite path, following their favorite activity. Piracy is going to be an excellent activity for players that want to live outside of the law in places where the UE will have no authority. A pirate's first priority will be to make profit while avoiding combat, because when you are engaging in combat, there is always a risk of everything going bad for you, everything going wrong for you, and getting out of the area with main damages and no profit, or even not getting out of there alive. This is also why I believe it is going to be a very common sight to see big pirate groups trying to threaten their victims with their impressive firepower in order to comply and give them everything they want. Traders and miners will have to find a way to protect themselves, and although turrets and weaponry on their trading vessels can offer some kind of protection, the best way to protect themselves against pirates and other kind of criminals is to hire mercenaries. And this is something that creates an opportunity for another type of player that wants to offer his services, an escort, a certain trader, a certain other player to go from point A to point B with safety. Mercenaries are going to be hired guns that will offer their services in order to protect and escort traders, miners, or anyone else that requires protection, and their goal will be to get them from one system to another or from one space station to another with safety. Mercenaries, of course, will not only have the opportunity to offer their services for traders and miners to protect a trading convoy, for example, but they will also have the opportunity to offer their services in a military conflict between bigger organizations for whoever pays them the most. Eventually pirates and other criminals will have bounties placed on their head and this is where bounty hunters come into play. Bounty hunters are going to be players that want to enforce the law and want to hunt down these type of criminals in order to collect the bounty and make a profit following their preferred activity. Bounty hunters will be accepting contracts that require from them to find a criminal, to find a pirate and try to arrest him or even kill him. No matter which one is going to be your preferred activity, no matter if you are after combat, if you are after the thrill of fighting other players or NPC, or if you just want to live a peaceful life in the Star Citizen universe, you will eventually have to repair your ship. Because it was damaged at your previous fight or because things tend to break down. This is exactly why a technician is going to be a quite inviolable job in the Star Citizen universe and many fleets and many organizations will want to have a dedicated technician in their roster. Repairs in Star Citizen can be done with a dedicated vessel like the Crucible and it is going to be a complex activity with two major roles the Repair Task Manager and the Repair Arm Operator. The Repair Task Manager will assess the damage of a ship and will designate the repair tasks that need to be undertaken and of course will be responsible for picking the best materials for the job, materials that will have the best results for the vessel. The Repair Arm Operator then can start reconstructing the ship following two procedures, stripping and patching. Stripping is when the operator removes areas of the hull that are partially destroyed in order to clear the damaged area and make the repair process easier. And patching is the act of restoring a ship's or common surface and restoring its integrity. Field repairs are also going to be a reality in the Star Citizen universe and a very important process if you ask me. The job of a dedicated technician aboard a capital ship or a multi-crew vessel will be to keep the vessel in shape, fixing everything that needs to be fixed, and of course, 
keeping the ship alive in case of combat, giving to the crew the opportunity to fight back, get out of the area and survive a bit longer until reinforcements can arrive or you can reach the safest closest area. Obviously nothing can be done in the Star Citizen universe without the necessary fuel. Fuel is the blood of your vessel and is very important if you want to continue traveling and if you want to continue performing your preferred activity. This is creating an excellent opportunity for players that want to play in that way, traveling around with their vessel, collecting fuel and selling it in order to make profit. And the best vessel that comes to mind for this activity is of course the Starfarer. It will be possible for players that want to make profit in that way to travel around the universe or even set store in an area where facilities like Cry Astro don't exist, take advantage of the opportunity and try to sell their fuel to explorers or other players that pass by from the area. Of course a Lone Star Fair is going to be vulnerable to pirate and criminal attacks and this is why Starfare pilots and Starfare crews might want to have some mercenary escorting them, some mercenary protecting them. Another opportunity for Starfare pilots, for players in general that want to follow this activity, will be to offer their services to fleets that want to travel far away, military or trading convoys, accompanying them in that way, and at the same time having the protection of that certain fleet. Medic is another activity that is going to be very important for the Star Citizen universe and for every organization and fleet. Medics are going to be very important and will provide assistance in battle, keep your troops alive or treat your injuries. They can be part of your organization, of your fleet, working for you and trying to keep you alive. Or they can also be freelancers that are moving around the universe, following conflict and offering their services to any party. Well-trained medics could even resurrect dead players. Search and rescue activity overall in Star Citizen is going to be very strong and players will be able to travel around searching for other players or NPC in need, offering medical assistance and also transportation to the nearest landing zone. After all, it has been confirmed that there will be missions available for the players in the Star Citizen universe that will require from you to rescue NPC and players, other players in need, will always have the opportunity to create a mission for you and ask for your assistance. Two very good examples of vessels in this category, in this activity, are the Catalyst Red and the Endeavor. Will the Endeavor even be able to turn into a field hospital with the proper modifications? Endeavor pilot and in general the Endeavor crew could try to make profit by simply following the conflict in the Star Citizen universe. If you know where there is a war going on, if you know where two organizations are fighting each other, you could go with your Endeavor and set a field hospital, offering your services to both parties or to only one of them. As an Endeavor pilot you will be able to choose which players and with what reputation can respond on your Endeavor and offer them the chance to respond closer to the action, always for a fee. Obviously a lone endeavor will be vulnerable to pirate and other criminal attacks again and will require some assistance, especially if you are a freelancer, you will have to think about hiring mercenaries to protect you while you are doing your business. We can very clearly see how this activity as well and the other activities that we have mentioned already connect with each other and create opportunities for different kind of players. In general, this latest category of carries that consists of mostly support roles, repairs, technician, refueling and of course medics, search and rescue, are going to be extremely useful for any organization and fleet in the Star Citizen universe and every fleet, any serious organization will want to have dedicated medics, technicians, and refuel pilots to assist them in their endeavors to achieve their goals. Exploration has to be the most interesting activity of Star Citizen and to be honest, the number one activity I would like to perform as soon as we have the opportunity. Setting out into the unknown in order to admire the beauty of Star Citizen but also find points of interest and turn this activity into profit. 
exploration in Star Citizen is going to be an amazing activity for every player that wants to follow this path because the universe of Star Citizen is going to be filled with secrets, with systems waiting for you to discover and explore with new jump points and general points of interest. It will be possible to discover unknown asteroid fields, derelict ships, fuel sources, jump points and new systems like we have said and you get to decide what you want to do with these discoveries. Share them with the rest of the community and claim the discovery for yourself or keeping them for you and your organization trying to take advantage of a new asteroid field for example, rich in resources or a derelict ship full of salvage. In order to be successful at this activity you will have to use proper equipment, specialized equipment like a long range scanners and jump point sensors depending on what kind of exploration you want to perform. There are vessels, there are many actually exploration vessels in the game that can perform every kind of exploration activity equally but there are more specialized vessels that can be used in order to focus on a certain part of this very interesting activity like searching for jump points only and exits to other new systems that no one has ever discovered before or simply looking for points of interest in the system that you already are. Salvaging is an activity that has strong ties with exploration because you need to find something before you can salvage it. Salvagers will be mostly after derelict ships and debris field with a dedicated ship like the Reclaimer and they will have to use, like in exploration, dedicated equipment like scanners in order to pinpoint their loot, their prey and start working on it. Another way to make money out of salvaging is by again following the conflict, going to an area where you know some organizations are fighting each other and try to take advantage of the wrecks that are leaving behind. In that way you can also work for an organization trying to salvage their ships after they are destroyed or their enemy ships after they have destroyed them and try to create some extra profit for that organization. Salvaging will not only be possible with a dedicated vessel like the Reclaimer but there will be salvage guns in game that you can use during EVA in order to gain some extra profit. So if you are out there with your car and discover a derelict ship, you and your crew could equip the salvage guns, go out there and try to strip the surface of the ship, try to take out some viable components or even search its cargo hold for some viable items, viable commodities that have been left behind. Another carry that could fit in this category is that of the scientist. Retrieving samples from space and planet side locations for analysis, atmospheric manipulation or even scan and analyze various phenomena. Again, like with exploration and salvaging, you will have to find, discover these phenomena in order to research them. Many ships will have the ability to carry scientific equipment and the most common scenario I believe we are going to see in the Star Citizen universe is vessels that will work as exploration science hybrids like the constellation Aquila, exploring around and at the same time searching for phenomena they can analyze and research them for profit. The info broker slash hacker is another career that we have to consider and have to mention in this category and this is because everybody that wants to become an info broker will have to explore around and discover viable info, viable points of interest and locations. The difference here with exploration is that the info broker is not taking advantage of his discoveries but he is trying to sell the info for profit. A more illicit version of the info broker is of course the hacker which is a player that is hacking satellites, that is hacking space station and bases that is intercepting communication between players, organizations or NPC and tries to blackmail them for profit or simply sell the new info, the new and illegally acquired info to the highest bidder. Passenger transport is going to be definitely the most unique activity, the most unique car in the Star Citizen universe. By using specialized vessels like the 890 Jump or the Genesis Starliners, you will be able to transfer NPC or players around the various Star Citizen systems for profit. You will be able to choose your route, the price of the ticket 
and what kind of passengers you want aboard your vessel. You can choose a more luxury option, having VIP aboard your vessel, a small number of VIP, or you can go for a more commercial option, transferring a lot more NPC or other players. The decisions you make, of course, will have an impact on your profit and how you treat them and how successful you are at this career will have an impact on your reputation. This career is also unique in the way that you will not have to own one of these specialized vessels, but you can work as a pilot for an NPC corporation, for an NPC organization if you want to. Who said that if you love speed and you just want to be as fast as possible, there won't be a career suitable for you in Star Citizen? Racing is going to be a career and you will be able to travel around, participating in races and trying to make money. Racing will also have ties with passenger transport and this is because ships like the 890 Jam and the Genesis Star Liner can be modified in order to carry racing vessels like the M50 or the Razor and in that way they can be turned like a mobile base, a mothership for racing teams and their vessels traveling around the universe going from one system to another participating in their favorite activity. A couple more careers that I would like to mention is farming and news reporter. As far as farming goes, we know that eventually, in the far future, we will have the ability to settle down on a planet and start producing goods. We will be able to plant and grow crops, harvest when appropriate and sell for profit. Farming will also be possible aboard our endeavor if we have the necessary modifications, if we have the necessary equipment. This activity will also be connected with trading, of course, because we can ask other players or NPC to transfer our goods for a fee, or we can transfer them ourselves to an area that will sell and earn us some good profit. As for news reporter or photographer, if you like, we don't really have that many info, but the existence of the Reliant Mako, a news van, let us think that if you want to be a reporter, if you want to travel around the Star Citizen universe, reporting facts, reporting stories as they happen, it will be possible. What really makes the careers of Star Citizen unique is not the fact that they are many, giving us a lot more opportunities to enjoy the game, but the fact that while you're performing one of these activities, you can perform one or two more at the same time, enriching your gameplay and have a lot more fun. I would really love to know which one of these careers is your favorite one, which one you would love to perform as soon as we get the opportunity. For me, is definitely exploration. Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.